Hey guys, in this video I want to quickly talk about ammeters and voltmeters. Somebody asked a question in a previous video, and I forgot who you were, but it was probably like two months ago and you already found the answer. Uh, but I thought I, I said I would do this video, so I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm not really great at electronics, so I'm probably going to explain some of this incorrectly. Uh, I'll bet there's going to be a discussion in the comment section below. Go down there if you have any questions or just do some more Googling. But uh, my motor for my mill is a DC 2.8 horsepower treadmill motor. It's rated at 130 volts and 15 amps. So I have a 30 amp ammeter and 150 volt voltmeter. And um, if this were a load meter that was specific to my motor, uh, we would call 15 amps 100% and we would call 300 or 30 amps 200% and then maybe we would have like a green and a yellow section you know 10 amps we would say okay you're getting into the red um, so when you hear load meter think ammeter it's just that the load meter is specific to that load and I could easily print out a new you know little card and put it down in there and it would it would tell me the same thing so uh, I drew up a little a diagram to show you how to wire these but first let me show you my uh, DC drive so this is the drive up here and you'll notice there's a purple wire a big purple wire and a big white wire can you see that purple wire back there it's hiding there it is uh, the white wire goes straight to the drive and the purple wire comes down here to this shunt and then it goes over and then it goes to the drive and then you see these two little leads uh, green and purple these are going up to my meter now the reason we do it this way is because now we don't have to run the big motor wires up to the door. That would be dangerous uh, and just not a good idea. So uh, we use a shunt instead and I'll show you why it looks the way it looks. Uh, hopefully I can explain this well. <laughs> So first I'm going to show you how to measure voltage. Uh, when you measure voltage, you measure across something. So we can measure across the, uh, the power supply, let's say 5 volt battery, and we can measure across the load or your motor, and that would tell us 5 volts. We could hook our leads up here or here, and we would still get a 5 volt reading. Um, when you measure amps, you measure through something. So really what, what you would have to do is put your meter in line it would have to be up here you would have you would go positive down to your meter you know pretend the shunt's not there we would go down like this but we don't want to do this because we don't want to run the big wires up to the meter so instead we install a shunt and then we measure a voltage across the shunt now mine's a 75 millivolt and so and so is the meter the shunt and the meter have to match uh, I bought mine on Amazon and they came together so I didn't have to go looking for a shunt on a motor or a meter um, so the way that we get around that, we measure through the shunt, and it basically, it reminds you of this, doesn't it? Measuring through the load. Um, because the shunt is a known resistance and the meter is matched to it, even though we're calling this an ammeter and we're converting to amps, it really is a voltmeter and we're measuring a small voltage right here. So uh, that's how it works. It's really basic. If you hook it up and it uh, and your meter pegs, you know, down to, if your meter pegs all the way up, you've got your lead switch, so you may need to switch those. Also, uh, I drew the shunt up here on the positive, but I believe best practice is to have your shunt in line on the negative. So, uh, your two little squiggly wires would come down here. This is where your shunt would be. Anyway, if you have questions or comments, or if I explained it totally wrong, post below. I can make a new video and delete this one, <laughs> uh, if I need to. Hopefully this helped. I'll see you in the next video.